even if we have a situation where 99.9% .9 of our visitors uh, are fully behaved and they don't drop later and they go home and they cause no problems, when you're dealing in millions, you still have the propensity for huge problems. You have litter, you have problems with agriculture, you know, where people are leaving gates open, you have dogs, you have all the myriad of other problems that you would have to overcome. How we try and do that is by raising awareness, working with people, having people on the ground such as the rangers, volunteers, visitor centres that are welcoming, friendly but reinforce a key message. We also look at putting facilities in certain areas so we know if you're going to have a lot of people have your car parking or your brew, your loo and your view there, leaving some space for those wilder areas. A, because it also gives the conservation aspects of it a chance. Secondly, if you want that remote experience, if you want that unique National Park experience, there are still some quiet areas where you can get it.